Hi, I'm Lizzie Cundy here for the Affinity Real Estate Shooting Stars Benefit. The sun is shining and Samuel L. Jackson is here as well, all for the Alzheimer's charity. Fantastic to see you here, Samuel. Thank you, it's good to be here. Let's start with the newspapers today. We've got Nick Ferrari and Lizzie Cundy. Very nice to see both good of you. Nice to see you. Bob Hoskins. So, yes. um, he's announced his retirement because he's got Parkinson's disease. Yeah, terribly sad and, and, and an awful disease. I interviewed Bob recently for Snow White and the Huntsman and terribly sad because you think of the movies. He's, mm. you know, Unbelievable Mermaids and Roger Rabbit, Mona Lisa. Mm. Such a great start. But you've got to accept that you might have Parkinson's but you don't let Parkinson's have you. It's Michael J. Fox still acting, that, still acting and, and, mm. and being uh, just coping with it but also raising awareness and yep. money. Hi, I'm Lizzie Cundy, here with the one and only Tom Daly. Yes, it's his book signing at Waterstones at Blue Water, and we're here to see him. And so are all the girls. Take a look. Oh my word, look at these girls. They've actually got Tom Daly on their faces, their arms. Tom's wife. How excited are we to see Tom? I feel sick, I'm so excited. So guys, what is it about this series that's hooked you, Lizzie? Well, Downton Abbey just has everything. You have the romance, you have the beautiful costume drama. I mean, it's fantastic, but you have skullduggery. You, you have the mystery, suspense, emotions, and there's a real sexual undercurrent that travels through Steady. this. Well, those naughty girls are back in town. Yes, it's the world premiere here in Leicester Square, London, of St Trinian's 2, the legends of Fritton's Gold. And anyone who's anyone is going to be here. Let's go meet them. How are you, darling? You look stunning. Thank you. Victoria Beckham. Victoria Beckham kind of just pulls everything in. <laughs> tonight's tonight. Our fourth time in London for the gala. And you know, we do these all over the world. You've I'm been to you. all of them. Baz, how wonderful to be here in New York. How do you do it? Because you multitask, you direct, produce, you do the writing. How do you do it? And where do you start? I won't pretend it's not, it's not all encompassing. So should the man pay for the first date? Well, two people with very different opinions are journalist Rosamund Irwin. And there's Lizzie Cundy who believes a girl has the right to expect to be looked after by a man. I just think the chivalry has died. This is what's wrong with society today. Your wrong. view of romance is about money. It because isn't. what you're saying is it you isn't. want to be wooed and the way to be wooed is for somebody it's, to pay for you. It's about having manners. You're getting it wrong. It's not about the money. It's about having manners. I'm wanting why... to treat a lady, make her feel special. You've asked her out for dinner or for a drink then you should foot the bill. Is it true about the casting couch? And have you ever had that? Can you stand up for a second? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're here to celebrate 45 years. Sound of Music on DVD and Blu-ray. I mean, can you believe it's 45 years? No, it's gone by in a flash. What do you think about the Brits taking over Hollywood? Is that happening? <laughs> it is, it is. <laughs> well, I, I better work on me accent then. <laughs> Will you be watching the next series, so sweet? Without a doubt. I interviewed Julian Fellows and he said it's more racier than ever. <laughs>